What's up, my friends? I'm here at Mini of Allentown, the very special place, very special day. They've just been announced the uh, Dealer Raider Mini Dealer of the Year overall for all of the US and for Pennsylvania. So that's a pretty big honor for these guys. Um, and if you haven't been here before, you gotta come check it out. They have an awesome collection. Um, there's actually the owner, Gary Daniels, collection of minis. He's got a bunch of classics. Um, a GP1, a GP3, some really nice minis here. Um, and he's also got these, and these is what, are what we're here to talk about. This is the Patty Hobkirk Special Edition Mini Cooper. And they have not one, not two, not three, but four of them here. And uh, Gary Daniels, the owner, um, is such a big Mini fan. He's uh, actually met Patty Hopkirk before and has actually worked with Mini on the planning of these Special Editions. So these are really cool, unique cars. We got one in manual and one in automatic. And before we get to looking at what makes these cars so special and unique, uh, we're gonna go over the story of Patty Hopkirk first. So for those of you who don't know who Patty Hopkirk is and why these cars are so special, um, if you've ever seen that classic Mini Cooper, that red Mini Cooper that won the Monte Carlo Rally back in 1964, that's the Patty Hopkirk story. This wasn't uh, his first attempt at winning the Monte Carlo Rally. He'd been driving other cars before and was frustrated with the reliability of them. So he switched to Mini and brought that car to the Monte Carlo Rally. It had the registration number of 33 EJD and the number 37 on the side. And remember that detail because we're going to go over those two numbers in a little bit. So with the Monte Carlo Rally, cars start from all over and then meet down in, uh, down towards Monte Carlo and, and finish there. Patty and his crew started in Russia and worked their way down through Europe into France. And they were considered the underdog of this race. They were up against much larger cars with V8s and much more power than that little Mini had. But Patty, with his driving skills and his mighty red Mini, navigated through the twists and the turns and the mountain passes much faster than the bigger, heavier, and more powerful V8 engine cars of the time. He ended up coming up with a time lead uh, on the, or before the last day. And the last day was to be held at an F1 circuit where they had to do a couple of laps around that circuit. Obviously, the V8 engines of the bigger cars at the time would have an advantage at this point. However, the Mini had such a lead that Patty just had to drive safely and finish, and he was able to clinch the 1964 victory of the Monte Carlo Rally. This Monte Carlo win in 1964 gave Patty and the Mini instant recognition all around the world, and Minis would go on to win and take podiums for their next few years. So here we are, 57 years later, with this special edition Mini Cooper in dedication to Patty Hopkirk and his Monte Carlo victory in that red number 37 Mini. So let's go ahead and take a look at these cars. So this is the outside of the car. It's a really beautiful uh, red, black, white color scheme here with this asymmetrical white stripe up the driver's side that kind of ties into that white roof. Interestingly, the white roof uh, does not match the black mirror caps, which is something you usually see that they match, but here they don't, and I think it works. It looks, it looks really good. It looks really sharp. It still goes with the car really well. This has gloss black trim around the headlights, uh, grill surround, hood scoop, door handles, gas cap, etc. The only place it doesn't have it is the waistline or beltline trim, much like that 1499 GT that we did a few weeks ago. I'll leave a link to that video. But you can also swap that out to the gloss black part from Mini itself. Um, I've shown you how to do it on my GP. And uh, if you want to do that, you can get one of those kits and put it on uh, this. It'll look really sharp. So that number 37, I, like I said, was important. So we have it on the side of the door. Um, this is really cool. It's almost like a sunburst design uh, to the 37. Then we have it again on the side scuttle. Um, we see the number 37 again on the C pillar where we see Patty Hopkirk's name and 1964, the year that he won that Monte Carlo rally. So the number 37, that's significant. Then we also have the registration, the registration number of that car, 33 EJB. And it's really hard to tell, but if you look underneath the uh, single stripe, which is seen on the driver's side, um, there is a small uh, vinyl decal that says 33 EJB. It gives a raised 3D effect to that uh, registration number seen underneath the stripe. And we also see the Patty Hopkirk signature all over the car. Uh, we have it once here, right on the stripe itself. We then have it again inside on these lit up sills. You can't see because it it's really bright out here, but these are light up sills. Um, and that's his signature lit up 
We then have it on the dash as well. And then we have a signature one more time right here on the rear uh, boot of the car. So before we go inside the car to check it out, if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, that really helps, I appreciate it. So here we are inside the car. This, uh, this one is the automatic and it's got paddle shifters. Uh, that one is the manual, we'll check that out in a few minutes. But uh, these cars all come with the same all black interior, JCW seats, JCW steering wheel, which I really am a big fan of. Um, the excitement package, you get the, so you get the 8.8 inch touchscreen navigation. The new digital display seen in these models. And you get the dual sunroof. So while we're in here, I have an interesting side story about Patty Hopkirk. Um, it was said that he picked up a can of caviar at his starting point in Russia uh, for the 1964 Monte Carlo rally. And he brought it down to Monte Carlo with the intentions of either selling it or trading it for something else. Um, but after the victory, he ended up uh, eating it uh, with some uh, other of uh, his partners and teammates. And so, uh, yeah, just a cool little side story. I don't think Mini is going to give uh, a can of caviar with each sale of these Patty Hopkirk Edition Minis, but uh, I never know. You could ask. This one happens to be a six-speed manual. Very nice. I like it. That's right. If you're looking for a Patty Hopkirk with a six-speed manual, get in touch with Mini of Allentown. They have one here. It's beautiful. I promise I haven't scuffed up anything. It's still in really great shape. It looks really sharp and I bet you it drives like a dream. So check it out. So that's a quick tour of these very special Patty Hobkirk edition uh, minis. They are very rare here in the US, so less than 300. So if you're interested in them, come uh, check out Mini of Allentown. They have four and even more rare, they have one of them in the manual edition. So if you're interested, get in touch quick because I don't think they're gonna last very long. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, when you see other minis, especially these cool ones, don't forget to wave. All right? And I'll catch you in the next one. For now, I'm going to leave you with some B-roll of these beautiful cars. All right, later.